Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Thursday, November 3rd, and it is currently 12.41 p.m., and I'm supposed to be working right now, but I decided to do this video for you all because I love you guys. So for today's video, I am going to be trying on pacifiers with him while also asking you guys a question because I wanted to make this video and I had a question for everybody but I didn't want it to be boring and I didn't have any babies to change because I felt like I just changed them that's what happens when you keep making changing videos so I was like what can I do for this video to not be boring and for you guys to not look at anything and I decided to try some pacifiers on him his hair looks so crazy right now but that's what we are going to be doing today for this video and so let's go ahead and get started okay so before i start this video i do want to update you guys on the babies that i do have still available for sale and the ones that are sold so blink blink she have sold and actually i just checked her tracking like right before i started this clip and recording right here and she's out for delivery today and so she's actually supposed to be arriving to her new home and her new mom today which is awesome because it said that she was actually going to arrive on saturday so i'm very happy and i'm grateful that she sold to an amazing person and that she's actually getting there way before it says so that is great you guys know she's not with me but i have boxed all the babies up and unfortunately i did have to take her out because someone wanted a safety photo and so i wasn't there to box her like back up and my mom was there to box her back up so i'm just hoping that her box still looks really nice and cute but i don't know so i'm just hoping fingers crossed that it does if it doesn't i apologize so that's awesome that she is arriving today instead of saturday that means she arrived in two days which is great so blinkland sold chandler is sold that is my full body silicone baby Sawyer by Tasha Eden Home. He is sold. And Symphony is sold. That is my Serenity by Laura Lee Eagle. So those three babies have sold. And I still have four babies left available. All of their prices have been lowered by a lot, especially Nixon's. So Nixon is Judas. And he is still available. And then I still have the three babies that I painted available, Scarlet, Claudia, and Sweet Pea. So those babies are available as well if anybody wants to go ahead and swoop them up in enough time for the holiday. So I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that they will sell too because they've been for sale for the longest, the three babies that I created. So I'm just hoping they go to a good home. Also, sorry about this angle. I didn't know how I should do it, so... I do apologize. But anyways, we have a different variety of pacifiers here. These are not all of the pacifiers that I have, but these were the only ones I was willing to look for. <laughs> so I have like um this little, you guys kind of seen it, the little black mesh type of thing. And there was like some pacifiers on the side of it. And then I have some pacifiers in a different area too. And in some boxes, the boxes that the babies came with, but I did not feel like going through that. So I just grabbed these and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pacifiers. So I think that's a good amount. Anyways, I'm going to be trying these pacifiers on him and then asking you guys a question and letting you guys know my answer to this question. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. This is the one that Saint came home to me with. It's cut because Saint has an open mouth. You guys know he's April by Jonah Casmer is at. So... They take a cup pacifier if they don't have a magnet and i don't know what brand this is but we're gonna try it on him so my question for you all is this if you have over five babies in your collection and you can only keep and you can only keep four babies if you have five and up babies in your collection you can only keep four one of them if you have like silicone in your collection one of them being silicone and the other three being reborn babies who would you pick and if you don't have over five babies, if you have three or less, you can only pick one baby. Whether that's a silicone or whether that's vinyl. Who are you picking? So anyways, this pacifier looks super cute on him and it is cut. 
and he has he does have a little mouth so it this actually fits him perfectly and i like this pacifier on him i want to find the name i have no clue what it's called but i do want to find the name to see if they have any more and like different colors because i do like the clear but just to see since it does fit his face really good and fits in his mouth really good as well as saints so that's this pacifier next we have this tommy tippy pacifier that we're going to be trying it does have the full nipple so i'm not sure if it's going to look right or fit all the way in his mouth like i said he does have a smaller mouth so my answer to that since i have more than five babies in my collection for silicone baby poor poor little seven <laughs> i will be keeping september because i can only pick four babies and guys i was actually was like two like one silicone one reborn if you have over like if you have a lot of babies but i was like i can't do that i can't so i like kind of changed it up and i was like four babies all together one being a silicone if you have it in your collection i don't think this is gonna fit in his mouth yeah this nipple is way too big for his mouth <laughs> so that's not gonna fit and i don't want to force it so the tommy tippy is a fail maybe i'll cut it later then we have this one. It says the first years on here. Wait, this is a gumdrop. This is a gumdrop pacifier. I didn't ever knew they made clear. I know they make like the clear purple and blue and pink ones, but I didn't know they just made like a regular clear one. So the silicone baby that I'll be saving is September, who is Merle by Lily and Breveld. And then the three reborns that I'm saving or keeping would be Eilina, Saint, and Milano. And it kills me to say that. It kills me to say that I have more forever babies than the ones I just listed. But if I can only keep four of my babies out of my whole entire collection, it would be them. It would be Eilina, September, two girls, Saint, and Milano, two boys. And I'm glad that this scenario or scenario or question or whatever... I'm glad it's very much hypothetical because it would break my heart if I couldn't keep all of the babies in my forever collection and I could only keep those four in my collection in general. That would look, literally break my heart. Sorry guys, I keep hearing like noises, but I'm here at the house by myself, so I'm getting freaked out. Is anybody in here? <laughs> There's nobody in here. So, I don't know. Anyways, I like this pacifier on him a lot. It does sit like a little low, so you can see like his top lip, but that doesn't bother me at all. But I would kind of like it if it was up like that a little bit more, but it still fits in his mouth perfectly, and the nipple is just a perfect size. So next, we're going to be trying this Ryan and Rose, and this pacifier is like so, so big, but they did come out with a preemie passy, and so maybe we'll try that for seven, or maybe I'll pick some up, or order some, I should say, and then... I did cut this. It had a full nipple, but I cut it for Chandler because you guys know his mouth is open as well. So you guys will have to let me know. If you have a collection of babies and it's over the amount of five, you have to choose four babies. And if you have a smaller collection of babies that's like four or three and under, you only you can only choose one. Two if you really have to. Like if you have three or four babies, you can choose two, but... I just want to know who are the babies you guys just can't. Under any circumstances, you just cannot leave them behind. You cannot sell them. You cannot give them away. They have to be there with you forever. So those four were my choices. September, Eilina, Saint, and Milano. So, yeah, I'm just curious on who your four would be if you have over five babies in your collection or who your number one and number two would be if you have less than five babies in your collection so this ryan and rose pacifier is very big but it it fits in his mouth but it like actually like sticks out and maybe i should have like brought you guys closer so that you guys can see how it actually fits in his mouth from all different angles and not just the front but as you guys can see it sticks out of his mouth i mean it looks kind of realistic but it's also like uneven like this side is more in and then this side is sticking out it's like one side is like in and then one side is out so i'm not really liking this ryan and rose pacifier we only have three more left to try we're gonna try this classic soothing 
pacifier on him next. The nipple is short and skinny and small, so I think this one should look good on him. And it does. This one fits in his mouth really good. I like this. I like this one. I always remember when I really, really wanted a full body silicone. How just picturing and imagining this pacifier in their mouth. <laughs> so let's see. It fits in his mouth really good. He has lint in his hair. You guys will have to excuse that. Oh my gosh, you guys just got so blurry. There we go. So that one fits in his mouth really good. And he looks super cute with it. He looks so newborny with it. And his hair is a mess, so you guys will have to excuse that. And then we have a ma'am. Ma'ams used to be, or I guess they kind of still are. I'm not really into the pacifiers anymore. But ma'ams used to be my favorite pacifiers. I was just always wanting to get ma'ams and always got ma'ams. And... I'm not really into the pacifiers as much as you guys can see. I hardly ever put a pacifier in my baby's mouth anymore. You know, I used to be pacifier crazy, but now I'm not so much. So this fits in his mouth really good, and I wasn't really expecting that because I don't think I've tried this pacifier on him. And so this fits in his mouth really, really well. Like the nipple was a little big, so I was a little worried that it wouldn't fit in his mouth too good when I was just putting it in. But it does, and it's that's why males were my favorite. They just always look so good and cute against like the baby's faces, like even the reborns. So this is how it looks like. You can't even see anything. Looks really, really good. I like this. I like this ma'am a lot. Looks like I have to go ma'am crazy again. I think these are the older style ma'ams though. Because you guys are... I always say because you guys know. But then sometimes like what if you don't know. But if you aren't aware. Ma'ams had changed like their design. So I don't think they look like this anymore. These are definitely the older ones. If I'm not mistaken. But the nipple is little. But you guys can see it like, right here. It's like it's a little wider. So that's why I was worried it would have fit in his mouth. Anyways we have one more pacifier left. And it's a Nook. Nooks are one of my favorite as well. I was ma'am and Nook crazy. And so we're going to try this one in his mouth. It kind of has the same shape as a Nook for the nipple, which is why I think I really like them. And these are like the newer Nook designs as well. It's cool to see how the pacifier changes over the years because I do have some of the older style Nooks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these are what Nooks used to look like. I remember. <laughs> okay. I know this one's going to fit in his mouth because I tried it a lot of times on him. And I like, again, how it fits and sits on his face, just like the ma'am. So the ma'am and the nook are my favorite passies for him. And then this, this one, this clear one. Like, I'll put them in order right now for you guys. This one is like, a, it has like a tint to it. It's not necessarily really clear. This one doesn't really get a fair chance or shot, the Tommy Tippy, because the nipple really is really big. So maybe if I cut it, it'll look a little bit better. So let me bring him up for you guys. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so. This is how the nook fits in his face, or fits on his face and in his mouth. It's literally perfect, as you guys can see. Also, this pacifier lights up. I don't know if it's going to. Oh, you guys can see it a little bit. Oh, look how cool that looks. Hold on. Yeah, it lights up, which I like. <laughs> I think that's really cute. So, these are my favorites. These two kind of have a tie for number one, though. But we have Nook, Ma'am, Gumdrop, no, Nook, Ma'am, Unknown, if you know it, please let me know, Suvi, Gumdrop, Ryan and Rose, and then Tommy Tippy. So that is my list from my favorite to my least favorite. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, I don't want it to be too long. 
So one last shameless plug before I go ahead and let you guys go. I do have four babies currently for sale. So if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I do have my eye on a few babies, <laughs> which I kind of told you guys when I was changing saints. I told you guys that I have my eye on a few babies so that I'm hoping that my babies can go ahead and sell so I can bring home some babies for the holiday. I know I wasn't supposed to get any more new babies this year, but look, I'm finally clearing out babies. So now I have the luxury of finding something new for my collection. So I'm very happy again. I love when my babies sell because they can go to a great home and to someone who shows them much more attention than I can and probably will. So again, if you guys are interested, I have four babies currently for sale and they are at a great price. I do have Sweet Pea, Claudia, and Scarlett, those are the babies I painted. They are still for sale, but they are in, they are packed up. So I would not be able to take any new photos of them or any safety photos if needed. I would not be able to do that because they are packed up already. And I did that already with Blinkland and then the person ended up like not responding back so not only did i kind of mess up her box opening because well my mom had to open it up and so not only did that mess up her box opening but she also didn't sell when she got open to take the safety photo so i'm gonna be doing that for any of my other babies if you don't feel comfortable buying a baby because you need a safety photo then just don't buy them <laughs> so i can't take a safety photo for them as again they are packed up and boxed up but I can't take a safety photo for Judas, who is mixing, because I have him right here and he's not packed up yet. Anyways, let me take you guys off the tripod and hurry up and close up this video because it's so long. Okay, so here's baby seven. Here are the pacifiers once again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. He looks so grumpy. He's like, she's waking me up for my nap to try on passies. <laughs> if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so at my underscore reborns. And if you guys like this video, get a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so by hitting that subscribe button. Also, please ring that bell so you guys can be notified when I post another video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!